Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and I'm back with another community Q&A video for you. This time discussing all about physical versus digital games. I put the question out on Patreon and also Facebook and kind of boiled it down to these two questions. Specifically, Ian asks, if new games stop being printed physically and publishers go all digital, will you stop buying and playing new games or continue to buy them even though you can't get a physical copy? Also, Ramon kind of adds to that and says, you know, do you think physical media will be discontinued eventually or would always remain both options, similar to cars, automatic versus manual? That's pretty funny and may not surprise you, but I actually do drive a manual car. That's probably not surprising to many of you. But to help me answer this question, I reached out to a bunch of other creators and game collectors. Got a great group of people here, including we got Johnny, the Happy Console Gamer, also Mark from Classic Game Room, my buddy Reggie, Irene, Gemma, we also got Tito from Macho Nacho Productions, as well as my buddies Robert and Wes from Gaming Off The Grid. But I think we're gonna start with Clint from Lazy Game Reviews. So if physical games go away and systems go all digital all the time, yeah, I'd, I'd absolutely keep buying and playing them. If I'm still into games and games coming out, then I see little reason to have that stop me, as much as I prefer physical, obviously, especially for older games. The, for newer stuff, though, is really not a requirement for me. I actually can't remember the last time I bought a new game physically only. Not since the Xbox One, at least. Everything for the past five or six years I've bought digital, um, including on PC. And that's largely due to the fact that physical releases always have to update anyway. There are always these huge day one patches and you gotta get the game playable. <laughs> and my internet is thankfully fast enough now I don't have to really worry about it. Um, my only exceptions are collector's editions, like really good ones that actually include the complete game on a disc. I don't see much point in buying empty boxes with download codes inside, unless the box and the feelies or whatever it comes with is just that amazing. Now, uh, do I think physical will go away entirely? Nope, not at all. I know it'll stick around for collectors, folks like me who are willing to pay a premium and uh, clutter up their house with shiny junk. Uh, but beyond that, I'm not convinced that the coming generation of gamers either will fully embrace digital. With games, with movies, with music, all that stuff, it's growing increasingly obvious that companies are not your friend. They don't care about rights, owner's rights, digital, physical, whatever, they just don't care and they're more than happy to remove media from your library or deactivate stuff or shut down servers, so whatever. As people continue getting fed up with all this stuff, I'm hopeful that the companies who uh, keep physical media going will come out on top eventually. This would be an easy question to answer if we were talking about the Sega Genesis or the PlayStation 2 or any game system that doesn't require an internet connection to play the games. Uh, digital downloads have a lot of things going for them. You know, they're, they're usually less expensive, certainly more convenient, but you always have to rely on a service to play these games. And at any time, this service can be shut down, it can be bought out, the games can vanish for whatever reasons. Uh, they can impose a convenience fee just to play the game. But when you buy a physical game these days, what's the first thing it's going to do? It's immediately going to ask for permission from some service to play the game anyway. So I would argue that publishers have already discontinued physical games. Uh, because a game on a modern game system like the PlayStation 5 is as much a download game as just downloading the game from the PlayStation 5. You can get cool packaging, you can get art books and all that kind of stuff. They look nice on the shelf, but uh, I don't think that you really own the physical game anymore like you did back in the day. Like a Sega Genesis game will play perfectly well on a 35-year-old Sega Genesis. It doesn't need to ask for permission. It just plays. You know, you probably can't say the same thing about a PlayStation 5 or 6 or whatever's next word now if you talk to any older gamer out there they'll say absolutely we do not want an all digital future we love our games we love our physical copies because we come from a time when you buy something you get something not something invisible but you know what we know that a lot of it is going that way and it's up to the next generation and i believe in the next generation my nephew He's starting to collect movies. He's like, yeah, Uncle John, I'm really worried 
that movies are gonna disappear and I won't be able to get them again. The same with video games. So I think the next generation is gonna step up and absolutely support physical copies. And you know, all of us older guys are gonna be there massively you know, blasting that we don't want games to go digital, full on. We want the physical games. And even the companies like Sony are pushing it. They're saying, here, look, for all you guys who just want digital, here's a digital PS5, and here's a disc-based PS5 as well. They're splitting the market slowly. They're slowly trying to get all of the older people out of the way so they can go fully digital, so they don't have to spend money on putting games in stores anymore. And look at, look at Walmart. My Walmart has shrank over time. It is really scary. Um, let's have some hope that physical always is a thing. We need to support it. Physical disappears. I'm going to be very disappointed. And it comes, it, this is kind of funny that we're here now. Um, the value of the American dollar, you know, hasn't been taught to certain generations, I would say. And now a lot of these kids today, they, they don't care about physical. And it's, it's, it's insane. You know, when you pay for something, you get something in return, physical. And um, I, I just, I'm just shocked that we're here right now. Um, if it goes that route where everything is just digital, I mean, I would just like go to PC, which I'm totally fine with. But at the same time, you know, I just, I just, just so disappointed that we got to this point and it's, it's just sad, you know, uh, physical gives something in existence, you know, when it's digital, they could take it away from you at any time. And it's, 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 and we've seen it happen before with, with the newer systems. I would say if they want, if they don't, if they think something nefarious is going on, even if it's not or whatever like that, they could pull, like it'll brick your system, take the games away. Insane stuff like that. You know, they have too much control with digital content. They want to take the control away from us. That's why we have all these subscription services and they're testing it out and checking out what people will buy. And um, unfortunately, we've gotten to this point where, you know, um, like digital sells more than physical. And I hate to say this, but we're in trouble. I think I may have an unpopular opinion when it comes to physical versus digital video games because I have actually made the switch over to all digital. So I buy all of my games digital and I know that there are pros and cons of digital versus physical. With physical games you can resell them, you can lend them out to friends, you have them actually physical. You have all of the displaying options if you want to show off your collection, yada yada. But with digital it's just more convenient. and I I know that the main argument against digital games is that you don't really own them, you own the license to play them. But nevertheless, I do find digital games more convenient because of, I don't know, laziness. I like to have my digital collections like laid out in front of me on my PlayStation 4, on my Steam account. I mean, who buys physical PC games anyways? So I mean, with Steam, we made that switch. 10 years ago, but I have gone all digital and I am enjoying it. I don't have to change out any cartridges. I don't have to change out any discs. Also, my physical collection does not grow anymore. This is what I have, you know, from the previous eras, Nintendo 64, GameCube, DS, etc. And I do like seeing all of my games and all of the memories and stuff laid out in front of me in physical. And then we have the second question. Do I think that physical media is eventually gonna be discontinued? Not in our lifetime, because changes like this is gonna take time. And it can simply be compared to how some people, older people, like to read their news in a physical paper. So, I mean, they are still printing those for that group of people that prefer that. So, I think physical games are gonna be around for a long time. But I have made the switch over to all digital. I don't mind it. I like it. Probably an unpopular opinion, but there you go. That's my opinion on it. Physical video games over digital video games. That debate is as hot as the Sega Genesis versus the Super Nintendo back in the early 90s. Now for me, I am very much a physical collector. I like the smell of the manual. I like the sound of the popping of the case when you open it. I love the colors, I love the hunt, and I just love everything about collecting physical retro games and physical toys from the 80s and the 90s. Do I think that there will be a complete eradication of physical video games in the future? I do think it's coming and I'm very, very sad about that. Will that necessarily stop me from playing newer games on the PlayStation 5 or whatever console comes next? No. 
I don't think I'd be one of those girls that cuts my nose off to spite my face because I'd still want to play the game. I'm a gamer as well as a collector. And I think that's the distinction here. It's am I a collector more than I'm a gamer or vice versa? Ultimately, I do want to play new games. I don't collect as much for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox One X. It's mainly my retro and this is never going away. So long live physical game collecting and um, it will never stop me from playing if we did convert to a digital era and I think that's a really great question it'd be interesting to see what other people think about this topic I think for a while we're going to see the option of physical copies of games alongside digital now eventually I think we will make a full transition to digital now I have to caveat that I'm a huge proponent of physical copies of games but the way the trend is going, I think we will make a full shift to digital. And the reason why I think that's gonna happen is not necessarily for our generation of gamers, but kind of the future generation and the younger generation where they're kind of used to digital only or subscription-based services and not really owning a tangible copy. You know, if you look at music, for example, or movies, uh, those are kind of subscription-based services. And now, while you can still buy sort of physical copies of those, I do think the trend is moving towards digital only. Nowadays, there is a large enough cohort of folks like you and I who would really push back to publishers or kind of these hardware manufacturers uh, to kind of always offer a physical copy in addition to a digital one. But as that sort of wanes and, you know, as sort of the younger generation who may not be as attached to physical media as we are, as they kind of become the main consumer, I do think we will see this shift. Now, again, like I said, I think that's not gonna be for the foreseeable future, but I do think uh, physical copies will eventually be discontinued as much as that stinks, but, uh, you know, I'm hoping it's not for a very, very long time. Or if at you know some point in the future, maybe we find out that uh, there will always be physical copies available. Now that's a future I can get behind. But again, I don't see it uh, with the current trends. The slow death of physical media is something we've covered a ton on the channel. The question of would you continue buying games if we get to an all digital future? What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I'm not 100% anti-digital game. I still consume and play digital games, whether it's indie, whether it's only digital. I still like it, but I like having the option. I have a massive video game collection. I have a massive movie collection, but I still stream TV shows and still stream video games. It's all about having the option and the convenience. If it goes to all digital, then I'll be upset because then it's removing freaking ownership. It removes the option of, as the consumer, what can I do with this piece of media that I bought? Yeah. So that sucks. Yeah. I, I probably still will, but it will be a lot less. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think you, there's, there's two levers being pulled when we talk about physical media. Yes. There's the immediate, which is the consumer control of, I buy said game, I can loan said game, I can sell said game, I can light said game on fire. You can do whatever if you I... want with it, you own it. So there's that immediate that you lose when you go digital, and then there's the long term, which is a whole nother rabbit hole to go down of video game preservation. But to answer the question on my behalf, I still will be a gamer and I'll still play new games, but it's gonna take a lot more for me to yes. do it. I do not like having control removed for me as a consumer. So yes, I will still play games, but I'm gonna have to know that it's a ripper before I just go ahead and, and spend the money. And that it. might be the time where I'm like, okay, I guess I'm diving into retro. Yeah. It looks like I'm diving into this backlog yeah. behind me. Yeah, yeah, because yeah it's for physical. sure. And then um, the other question was, do you think there'll be an option both in the future? And I think there will always be an option for physical. It might just be very niche. You're not gonna be able to walk into Best Buy, Walmart. I mean, they're already moving that as we speak, but there's gonna be sites and there's gonna be publishers. There's already like DVDs are going away, but there's already like publishers for horror movies and they're really yeah, like 4, 4K and Blu-ray, I think yes. that model, that limited run model, will persist yes. to your point. It's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to find every single game available, mm -hmm. but you might be able to find like remasters and all this stuff. So I think physical will always still be alive, just not as we know it. It's hanging on, bye yeah. Fred. But us oldies are keeping it alive. Thanks for having us on Metal Jesus. Lots of great answers there, don't you think? Now, for me personally, it's all about preservation. I think that video games are art and they're worth preserving for generations. That's my hope. And I would say most of the game developers that I've ever met, they feel the exact same way. 
They pour their heart and soul and often years of their life making these games, both good and bad. And their number one goal is really for people to play them and enjoy them. And I don't necessarily think it's completely dire because look back just 20 years ago and the music industry was certain that physical media was gonna go away. Well, lo and behold, vinyl records come back in a big way and they've been growing every single year since. And you know, it just shows that people are passionate about art and preserving it and what they love. And so I'm hopeful that you know, this stuff will, will work itself out and consumers like me and you will help decide, you know, whether vinyl should come back or physical media should continue to exist in the, the video game space. I'm, I'm optimistic. And at the end here, I want to thank all the creators that were so excited to be part of this conversation. It was actually pretty cool to get everybody involved in this. And so make sure and check out their channels if you're not familiar with them or maybe you haven't watched them in a while. Go support everything that they do. Speaking of, I think Mark has something else to say. I think a better question to ask is why aren't you playing games on the Vectrex exclusively? Uh, because you can't download games for the Vectrex, the internet would just shatter into a bazillion pieces because there's nothing that can download a four-dimensional laser game. Only a Vectrex cartridge can handle that. So, you know, I wouldn't lose sleep over physical games, digital games, what publishers are going to do next. I would lose sleep over why you're not playing more Vectrex. You know, to be serious. Shame on you if you're playing something that, I mean, it just, honestly, it, it just breaks my heart. Like the Sega Genesis is acceptable, but... <sighs> when are we getting a Vectrex 2?